Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon, December 1st. It is officially Christmas Day, Christmas Day? Christmas tree day in the Wiesner household. Today Jared took a bunch of just junk from the yard to the dump and that's what he's been doing most of the day is just cleaning up the yard and dropping it off. He tried to take it to the one that's closest to us but apparently our township isn't the same as the one that's closest to us so he ended up having to take it to another city because it was still, it's, it's it was dumb. I don't know what it is with dumps, they just like, they're so annoying with who can drop off junk. Like we, we're trying to just pay to dispose of our stuff, just, just take it. Just take it. Anyway, aside from that, today is Christmas tree day and I am super excited to be going and picking out a tree. That is like my favorite part of prepping for Christmas is the Christmas tree day. And we always go to the same farm. We have, I think this will be the fourth year in a row that we've gone to this farm. I can never remember what the name of it is called. It's like Kagan's Farm or something like that. I'm not sure how they pronounce it. I am cheating a little bit with my November wrap up and I'm holding off. You guys will probably still see it before you see this vlog. Fingers crossed. But I'm gonna finish my last book on my TBR, which was Night Circus. Uh, this weekend hopefully so technically it's creeping a little bit into December but I'm so close to the end I just want to finish it so that when I do my wrap-up I can just talk about my feelings instead of like holding them in for next month I just want to get it done um, as of right now I'm unsure I feel like it's a solid three or three and a half but I'm hoping that the ending brings it up to at least a four because I thought it was gonna be a five-star read and it's just not for me I wanted it to be, like I wanted to feel all the feels that everyone else seems to feel, but I'm still on the edge. I don't know what I think and I think this is going to be one where I have to get to the end just to really figure it out and like figure out how I feel. So we're back. We picked out a tree. We went to Pizza Hut for dinner. That's like become a tradition the last, this will be the fourth year in a row, we've picked a tree and then been too tired to cook, so we stop at Pizza Hut on the way home because it's like on the way. But we are full, we are happy, our kids are in bed because it's kind of late. We almost couldn't buy our tree because we didn't realize this year they changed their hours, so they closed an hour earlier and we actually got there like a little bit past when they thought they were closed, so we showed up and they were like, oh, hi and we were there, so that was fun. But they're super, super nice. I love that farm. I took like a little clip of us getting the tree. I'm super excited. It's really wet. It started pouring when we were at the restaurant, so the tree is pretty wet. So we're gonna have to put it up, let it dry out a bit, and then hopefully later I can decorate it. That's like my favorite part. And if you can hear any like weird noises, I have the fake fireplace over there. And it's like also a space heater, so it kind of makes noise from the fan. But I am excited to decorate this tree. It is Monday. Yesterday I didn't have a chance to vlog at all. I completely forgot. But pretty much all day I just ran errands and then I made a Christmas wreath which I will insert a little clip of. It turned out really good this year. 
Anyway, today is tree decoration round two. Rainer is home with me because I knew that he'd be really sad if we decorated my mom's tree without him. So him and Owl are both gonna come and him and Owl and my sister and I are all gonna decorate my parents' tree because that's just what we do. They like, we just go over and set up their tree for them <laughs> because it's fun and we've always set their tree up. But because I'm kind of like crazy about my tree, I figure my kids can decorate my mom's tree and she doesn't mind that all the ornaments are in like two locations. I can't handle that. Anyway, we are gonna head out now and I will talk to you guys soon. Everybody's at the red hot oh, rockin' at the red Hey guys, it is Wednesday and I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I pretty much didn't do anything yesterday. I can't even really remember what I did during the day. A whole lot of probably nothing. I know I had to do like laundry and stuff. But last night, Jared and I went to see the new Robin Hood movie and it really wasn't, I don't know, I feel like it was okay but it just wasn't really our movie. Like, so there was this part where they were walking around with bows and arrows like the way you would in a house like with guns and it's like nobody's gonna see you with your arrow as you go around a corner like close quarters combat with arrows just was not up there on my things that are believable list anyway movie was kind of corny not bad but corny um and then today i didn't do a whole lot um my parents dog passed away so that was pretty sad it was like my one of my childhood dogs from when I was younger, he was like 17, I think. He's pretty old, um, but that was really sad. And then I didn't do any reading for most of today because I was just sort of bummed out. And then tonight I decided to finish the last bit of the Night Circus. And I will go into more detail on this in my wrap up since I'm finally finished and I can do my November wrap up. I'm kind of cheating because it's December now, but whatever. I'm really disappointed in it. Like, I just, Maybe I expected more, but I'm just gonna say I felt like it needed way more character development. I think I loved the atmospheric nature of it, and that's why it got as many stars as it did. I gave it three stars, but I just wanted so much more out of it, and I didn't get it. Like, for me, I'm a really character-driven person. I can have literally no plot, which this also kind of has, because it doesn't really do a lot, but... I need to love the characters, like I need something to cling on to and to love and there just wasn't enough of each person to really care about them. Like there was a couple people near almost the end, like I think, where am I? Like I think I read like this much before I even had like an inkling of wanting to care. And it just didn't really go far from there. And then I was hoping that the ending would be something spectacular to like bring it up to like a higher star mark. And I was just kind of like, I read the last line and I was just like, nah, nah. like I just, I just didn't care. And I felt so bad because it's such a beautiful book. And I read so many good reviews. Like I'd heard so many good reviews on like YouTube and stuff. And I just, it fell flat for me. Um... But I have a little bit more time. Jared's playing some video games and I'm finally going to pick up Peter Pan. I don't know why, but this just feels like it's going to be a good December read to me and it's going to be a quick read. I think in November I kind of screwed myself because I picked three or four. I picked three decent sized books for my TBR, but then I added Bridge of Clay. So Bridge of Clay was almost 600 pages, The Nightingale I think was almost 600 pages, and The Night Circus was just shy of 500 pages. So I picked three really big books to get through in a month. I'm gonna start Peter Pan. Probably won't check in with you again tonight. Hopefully tomorrow I will check in with you. But figure I'll start with like a nice short book this month and at least then I'll finish one and I'll feel like I've got something under my belt. Anyway, I'm gonna go do that and I will talk to you soon.